and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Manhattan Barbie and I'm a YouTube stripper. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a nice comment at the end of this video. So in last week's video, I asked you to comment down below and tell me an alternative source of energy that doesn't have caffeine. And a lot of you guys commented and told me to take B12. So right now, I'm gonna take your suggestions. I have a bottle of B12 right now to give me some energy. In these B12s, it comes with these little vitamins. So I'm gonna pop those in my mouth and I'm gonna wash it down with this water. This is water mixed with a vitamin C emergency pack. In my hand, I have a couple other vitamins. These are just multivitamins for women that are good for you and good for your body. So welcome back to another stripper vlog. Today is Saturday, Saturday night, and we're going to be going to Scarlet's Cabaret. Before we get going, I have to clean out my stripper bag. My stripper bag is a mess. So I'm gonna show you guys right now what my bag looks like. So right here I have my stripper bag, and my stripper bag is a mess right now. So I thought you guys would like to see what's in it and watch me clean it out. So here are my shoes. My shoes are getting old, they're kind of dirty, so it's time for me to buy some new shoes. But for now, I'm gonna wear them tonight because they're still usable and nothing's wrong with them. They're just a little dirty. I have my flat iron in here. This is a really good flat iron. This flat iron is almost $300 at the Ulta, but it's highly recommended flat iron. I also have a bunch of masks in here. This needs to go in the garbage, so this side is gonna be for garbage over here. I have a lingerie set. And this lingerie set I will not be wearing tonight because tonight is Saturday and at Scarlet's, Saturday means gown slash long dress slash long skirt. So this does not qualify for a Saturday attire. Saturday, they like to be a little more upscale, a little bit more professional, so we have to wear a long dress. I have my makeup bag in here. And I just have a bunch of other stuff in here, like an old peeled orange for some reason. That's trash. Trash. Let's just empty it out. You know what I mean? Empty it out. So we're gonna divide, this is garbage. This is some nice lotion, so that's gonna be in the keep pile. This is my brand new makeup that I bought from Sephora. That's obviously in the keep pile. And I always keep a couple ones in my bag just in case an emergency pops up and you need a couple dollars. My Olaplex. For my hair oil, keep that in there. Also my stripper bag, I keep $2 bills for good luck. I have quite a few of them here. These are the $2 bills that I actually picked up when I was in Houston and never spent them. I keep them for good luck, good riches. And that's it, now my bag is empty. Now look at the bottom of my Louis bag. It's dirty, because I use this for work, now I have a dirty Louis Vuitton bag. And just so you know, you don't have to use a designer bag going to work. Nobody even sees this bag. This bag stays in my locker. I just use it, I guess, because I'm bougie. Why not? So now I'm going to repack my bag and show you what, what I'm putting in there. So all I need to bring to work are my heels, my makeup bag, my garters, my flat iron, I'll bring these for no reason. I just keep them in my bag. Um, makeup lotion goes in the bag. Oil goes in the bag. This is a little lip gloss. I forget who I bought this from. I believe it's a MAC lip gloss. I want to say I bought this in New York. That just goes in the bag. Probably not going to use it, but it goes in the bag. And these little dollars. And that's it. And I'm all packed. I don't have an outfit packed in here for tonight because my plan is to stop at Candyland and buy myself a brand new outfit. I love buying new outfits because it's just fun. It makes me feel good at work. Well, that's everything that's in my stripper bag right now. So let's get going and the first stop will be Candyland. I'm in the car and I'm so bad. Even though I took your advice on taking the B12, I'm still sitting here drinking this caffeine because 
there's nothing like a good Red Bull to give you wings. It's just so good. And it's sugar free. It's only 20 calories for the whole can. I mean, you can't beat that, even though it's so bad for my skin. And I'm going to stop soon, very, very soon. Just not right now. <laughs> So I started to notice at the strip club that guys don't really care about having really long nails or really long nails with designs on them. So I'm gonna be taking a break from doing my nails. One, the main reason I'm taking a break is because it's gonna be saving me a lot of money. I already spend a lot of money on dyeing my hair, getting my hair done every week, outfits, things like that. Nails is just an extra expense that I don't need if it's not gonna help me make money. So the other day I went to the nail salon and I had my nails and my toes done i just had them filed and i had them put clear polish on just to make it look clean but it was only 25 dollars, and that way my nails can just look clean and it was really cheap and the guys at the club aren't even going to care if my nails are done or not so it doesn't even matter i just got to the candyland store right now it's super cute it's like a long dress and i bought this cute like rhinestone underwear the price for this underwear was $42 from about 8 to 3 o'clock in the morning. It was pretty quick and pretty steady. I was making money from when I walked in the door to when I left, so I'm really happy about that. I don't know what this new trend is, but I've noticed everybody is smoking puff bars, and those things are so bad for your body. It's literally gonna cause you to get popcorn lungs. Those puff bars are gonna tear apart your lungs, and I don't get the addiction. If you're one of those people smoking the puff bars, I really suggest that you stop because they're very bad for you. <laughs> I'm just getting back home and I had a great night at work. By the way, happy Sunday because when you're seeing this, it's going to be Sunday. Comment down below and let me know what do you do on Sunday? Do you go to church? Do you spend time with family? I would love to go to church, but because of COVID-19, that's not really an option. So I'm doing church on TV. So it's Sunday, guys. Don't forget to watch some church, maybe read some of the Bible, and spend time with family. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's video. If you want to see more content from me, you can look in the description box below. I have some links down there for my 18 and plus subscribers. I will see you guys next week. Bye!